and Dr. K. Girish, physician, neurophysician, and neurosurgeon, as a part of a health booking series. I like to today. That's it. It's nothing but a health tips. Now today, I'd like to highlight on how to live a healthy life. Some tips. One, eat a very good, nutritious, healthy, nutritious food, and avoid eating junk. When I say healthy, nutritious food, it just means that you have to have a food which contains carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and fat in adequate quantities. In Tamil, we call it Sanchi Pura. This is what is essential. So eat good, healthy, nutritious food. Morning, we breakfast around 7 or 7.30. At 1 o'clock, have your lunch. Evening tea snacks and night meal. The second one is get moving. You must have physical exercise. Physical exercise means it can even mean that you can take around ten thousand or fifteen thousand steps daily. Maybe you have your mobile. You can have an app. Download it and you can see how many steps you're walking. Instead of going by the lift, take the steps. It's good. And if it's a short distance, go walking. These are small things which matters a lot, and then of course stretching your body, everything, stretching all your joints, and then walking for one hour a day, in the morning one hour and the evening one hour will be very very good. Walking is the best form of exercise. It's an isotonic exercise. You can either do isotonic exercise of walking, jogging, swimming, running. Ideal is walking. You need not go out in an open space in a park to walk. You can even walk within your house hearing a music. So get moving. That's the second part of to live a healthy life. The third one is drink enough glass water. You must have at least one point five to two liters per day. That means one glass is two hundred ml. So you can take up to around ten uh, uh, glasses. A day of water is very very essential. It can be in the form of water or any form of juice or a coffee or tea, or it can be even in the form of putting in your food actually. So drink water because your brain again has got around fifty to sixty percent of water. So it can be hydrated if you don't drink enough water and may not work properly. Do physical exercise every day. I have already told you walking, jogging, running, swimming is a very good. And then avoid smoking. Smoking contains about three thousand to four thousand toxic substances, which can affect your lung. Before smoking, your lung will be looking white. And after smoking, it will be looking jet black. And there will be lack of oxygen going to the brain, and you become dull. So avoid smoking. And smoking in the long run can produce cancers of any part of your body, most of your lungs. Avoid drinking alcohol. Again, alcohol too is a poison. Please understand that it can damage your liver in the long run. It's a silent killer or a slow poison, I can say. So please avoid drinking alcohol because liver and its 500 metabolic activities that are going on. It produces a lot of energy for your heart to pump 72 times per minute and for your brain to think continuously. You know, your brain is continuously active 24 hours, and for that, glucose is required, which actually goes from the liver and. This will be disturbed by the alcohol, so avoid drinking alcohol. And then, of course, you may have tension, stress. Stress is in every part of your life. So for that, you can actually do a little of meditation. You know, practice every day for about 10 to 15 minutes, all by yourself in a calm atmosphere, calm ambience. Please do that. The seventh, in fact, very important one is sleeping adequately. Sleeping six to eight hours a day. Will consolidate your memory, consolidate all the functions of the important functions of your brain and your whole body, and you get very much refreshed if you are sleeping continuously for six to eight hours every day. Sleeping altogether helps improve your memory too, and helps improve all your activities. Similarly, think positively is again very very important. Uh, negative thoughts in a person in a day can have around forty to. Forty to fifty thousand thoughts of which around forty to fifty or forty percent are negative thoughts. Negative thoughts are essential, but you should know how to challenge and then go ahead and think positively. I can do. I am able. I am a capable person. 
I will accomplish whatever task that is assigned to me. I will succeed. That's what they say. The they are thinking positively. The right one is practice forgiveness. If somebody has committed a mistake, forgive. Because the more you have anger, the more you have, uh, you know, some of the thoughts of those personalities, automatically your tension and stress and your body gets uh, disharmonized with the chemicals. Solved. And the last one is please respect one and all. The human dignity is something which every one, one of us human beings should know. Dignity is nothing but the inherent value, inherent quality of a human being to be respected. I have to be respected and I am respecting you. So please do respect each other and respect one and all and you get a lot of peace of mind. That's very very essential for you to lead a healthy life. So in a nutshell, some tips to live a healthy life in you. One, eat good health, nutritious food and avoid eating junk food. Two, get moving, walk or can say wherever and wherever you can. Drink enough glass of drink enough water. One, one, one and a half to two liters of water every day. Do physical exercise like 30 minutes uh, of walking or uh, jogging or running or swimming. And fifth is avoid smoking, avoid drinking alcohol. And sixth is meditate 10 minutes a day, which gives you a lot of rejuvenation. Seven, sleep adequately, six to eight hours a day. And eight is thinking positively. And nine, practice forgiveness. And ten is respecting one and all. And the last time, however busy you are, spend little quality time with your family. That will give you a lot of ease and ease. That's indeed, uh, my dear friends, some tips of how to live a healthy life. Thank you very much.